All right, Trent, congratulations on the season so far. Uh, obviously, the job's not done yet. What's the mindset of the team going into this uh, week of preparation for Pinnacle? Um, just a lot of focus, a lot of hard work. Uh, we're trying to just cut, pick up some of the loose ends that we're leaving in the past games, fix some of our mistakes, and just get ready to play with the big boys, I guess you could say. Right. You're the only Tucson team involved. Uh, there's seven other Phoenix area teams. So obviously the thought's going to be like it's it's you against Phoenix and, right. and uh, the Phoenix team is probably they you know they they probably do look down at Tucson teams because yeah. they feel like they played better competition throughout sure. the year. But what what are your thoughts about that? The respect angle for you guys? Uh, I think it's awesome that we're going to be representing Tucson and uh, we 100 percent deserve the respect that we've earned and. Uh, just as good as any Phoenix team out there, right? It's and, and I could tell from your numbers that you put it, you put that kind of performance up every week, right? Like I talked to your dad, and every it seems like every week you're leading the team in tackles. Yep. Can you com comment about that consistent level of, of performance for you? You know, our coaches put together a great scheme every week. Our defense kind of molds with what we're playing. Um, our defensive line has been doing a great job, and we rely heavily on each other as linebackers. So one another, one another does a job one of us is going to end up being successful. So I couldn't have done it without my, my line, my coaches, or my other linebackers. What, what are your thoughts about playing these games, these last games with Coach Benet's last games? You know, just the, the the attitude of the team about rallying around him. You know, it's just it's a great honor to be able to be on his last team and final team. I respect Coach Benet, and I think he's one of the greatest coaches out there, and it means the world that we're going to be able to finish it with him. Is there any way that he's impacted you the most that play for him the, in the, at the varsity level? Um, he's impacted me in many ways. He taught me what it meant to be a leader, um, how to run a football team, how to just be a good person, be a good team, and showing others respect. And uh, I can tell you, you've got a lot of qualities of your dad. Uh, having gone to practices and stood and talked to him a lot, he's very respectful and he respects the game. Like uh, he respected playing baseball, so he obviously yeah. respect football. Wh do you credit your dad a lot about how you've been able to develop, or is there somebody like a role model or somebody that's oh, helped you? 100%. My dad has always been there um, with me ever since I was little. He's been coaching me in football, mm -hmm. and every week, even every weekend, uh, I'll come home from a game. We'll talk about the game. We'll watch film. He'll tell me what he thinks I need to be doing mm -hmm. a little better. But he's always been there, and he's always been my number one role model. And, uh, I'm, I'm, sh I'm sure you know how yeah. good of a catcher he was, right? Yeah. Does he tell you like he was the all league, all, all conference catcher? And, no, he's pretty but, humble about that. Okay. But you, so you're not going to play baseball, though, right? You, that's how your your goal is to be football in college. Yes, sir. What what made you decide just football? Um, you know my it was my freshman year. I actually had shoulder surgery. Oh, okay. And uh, I just wasn't throwing the ball as well, and I just decided that. You know, I have a great love for football a lot more than I did for baseball, and that was the sport for me. Right. And with the, the kind of production, like I said earlier, that you've had this year, are there schools looking at you now, or what's what's your recruiting looking like? Uh, my recruiting's looking well. Uh, I'm still talking to some schools. I have, uh, I think it's three or four offers now from okay, smaller yeah. Division One or Division Two, II, Division Three schools, but I'm still in contact with D1, Division One schools and stuff. And then how's, how's your dad helped you with that part? Because he's gone through that before. He's had to go through that college athlete part. Um, he just keeps telling me to keep working, yeah. um, just keep focusing, don't worry about it too much, and just focus on my team playing this last season. Right. You, Charlie, and Luke, you, your dads all played at the U of A. You're all college athletes. Uh, what, are you, what, are your, what are your thoughts about that kind of at, you know, angle where you guys have been kind of groomed from you know, le that legacy of college athletes, especially U of A. Uh, I just know that, like, we all have been competitive ever since we were young. I played with Luke since I was in flag, and I've known Charlie since my freshman year and a little before that in eighth grade. We've all played against each other and played with each other. Um, it's just they teach us to compete. They teach us the value of the game, the respect of the game, and it just they instill a different kind of work ethic in you from a young age. Right. And I asked Luke this about, you know, you, you, you don't have to go against Bijan in a game, right. but you have to face him in practice right. sometimes. And I, and I don't know how full, if you guys do full contact. Do you guys do full contact? Uh, we do thud, so we'll just kind of hit, fit oh, okay. up, but we won't go all the way to the ground. So, but have you ever had a, the, the uh, I don't know if opportunity is the right word, right. to go up against Bijan when he's trying to get past Oh, him? plenty of yeah. times. Yeah, what's it's, that like? Um, let's just say it just makes both of us better. Yeah. Yeah. 
and then you don't you you don't have to face him like 15 to 20 careers right. that he has in the game. Right. What what kind of just having him on the on the the team? I know he, he plays offense, he plays yeah. defense, but just from confidence wise and knowing he's there in Lathan and right. the way you guys are playing, it seems like you guys have a lot of sources of confidence. Can yeah, you talk about that. Um, definitely, our offense and our defense relies on each other heavily. Like if they're Offense is not doing so hot, we'll pick up the slack, and if we're not doing so hot, they will pick up the slack 100%. So, I mean, we work together pretty well, even though we're on different sides of the ball. And how are you, you going to handle this week coming up? It's a big week, obviously. You're going to the first open division playoff game. Uh, how are you going to personally? How are you going to handle this? Personally, I'm just going to go out there and do what we've been working on all week and watch some film and just just play our game. All right, well, great. Well, good luck to you. I know Tucson's pulling for you. Thank you. So we, we appreciate what you guys have done, and we're hoping you can go all the way. All right, thank you.